so uh, this session is uh, quite uh, interesting. Uh, it is uh, it targets uh, the issues of uh, business models and good practices of uh, transforming the cities into uh, smart cities. Uh, that's topics. Uh, that these are the topics which uh, are interesting for all of us. And there is another uh, interesting uh, 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 specific in this session that it is a bit uh, regional. Uh, we started uh, working regionally. Uh, I mean, uh, good practices from Norway don't always fit to the other regions we should share and we should share in the neighborhood. So we have uh, presentations from Romania, Romania, uh, Macedonia, and uh, Turkey. Uh, and I'm happy to uh, introduce the, the presenters, uh, the first presenter, the lady, uh, Bianca Monte, uh, uh, who is uh, the CEO of iTech Transylvania Cluster. Uh, we are clusters, but uh, they are gold standard cluster. Uh, you know, uh, we are striving for the growth level. So I think uh, good practice from Romania, and uh, that's uh, uh, also not only for the region, but also for the European uh, Union. Uh, we have uh, two presentations of uh, companies uh, who are members, which are members of the cluster. That's uh, the Telebrick and uh, the Big Holding. Uh, and we have uh, uh, Stefan Marinovsky from, uh, uh, from uh, Telebrick, uh, who is, uh, well, graduated from American University, and, and it's a Warwick University, uh, some uh, specialization, and now is uh, one of the leading. Uh, um, and the management uh, of the territory. Uh, when they say the cluster would do software and uh, implement software, uh, smart city, noise city, I always have in mind that the management of the world uh, has in mind that uh, we have uh, companies like Telerik and uh, the Vitrol. So we have uh, Dr. Fatih uh, Gundula, uh, who is uh, uh, that the general manager of uh, ISBAC, they call it the architect of the smart city, Turkey. Uh, that's a really a very good practice. You know, Istanbul is a very large city, much more than 10 million. <laughs> and the task for integrating the smart city solutions in the city, it, uh, they're responsible for that. And uh, this is a uh, municipal uh, component. Mr. Fatih uh, graduated from Darmstadt, uh, did PhD in Graz, and uh, so quite international. Uh, also, we have a presenter from Macedonia, uh, Mr. Joel Trykovsky, a good friend and uh, partner in many project, uh, projects. He is uh, doing consulting not only in the region, but also outside uh, in Europe and uh, beyond. Uh, Mr. Baron Dinev. Uh, okay, he's coming as well. That's another member of the uh, CEO of the, the Witt Holding, uh, member of uh, the cluster. And uh, Mr. Elmas Chukar, uh, he is uh, also from Istanbul and uh, leading. Uh, uh, Pashitash living living lab. We know each other from the living lab, uh, European network of living lab. But they have real acting and uh, 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 living lab which works in the uh, Istanbul environment. Uh, they are very important players in the smart city development. So that's from my side, and I have the pleasure to give uh, the floor to Biak. <laughs> so start with the video. Yes, good morning, everyone. Uh, we will start with the yeah, short video. Transylvania, the land beyond the forest. And welcome to Cluj. 
heart of Transylvania, Romania's fastest growing city and the most influential city in Western Romania. So, why might you love Cluj? Maybe it's the academic spirit. Since Cluj is home to Romania's top 10 universities, providing a highly educated workforce in more than 300 different specializations, from IT to medicine or agriculture research and development, Cluj Napoca is an internationally recognized medical center with a rich history in research and advanced treatment. Cluj Napoca is the Romanian capital of clusters, IT, energy, agriculture, and creative industries. The European Commission selected Cluj to host, for the first time in Romania, the most important conference in the field of innovation, Open Innovation 2.0. Or it might be its constantly growing infrastructure. With modern highways and a well-connected airport serving more than 2.5 million passengers per year. You might also appreciate the city's blooming economic environment. With more than 25 banks represented here and home of the biggest private Romanian bank, Cluj is a great place for business. pride ourselves as Europe's Silicon Valley and the home of clusters, but IT is not the only high-end industry represented in Cluj. Some of the world's business leaders have offices here and their businesses are constantly expanding. Cluj is a city with a rich heritage, but with a strong cosmopolitan philosophy. With an interesting mix of Romanians, Hungarians, Germans, and other nationalities living here, it's no wonder we are ranked Europe's number one friendliest city towards foreigners. Did you know that Cluj has one of the highest living standards in all of Europe? This might come as a surprise, but with two international schools, several cultural events relevant on a continental scale, we pride ourselves in offering a five-star living experience. Did we mention that through its modern infrastructure and passionate audience, Cluj is Romania's sports and music capital? We are indeed proud of our city. But we know we would not be what we are without the influences from everybody interacting with us. So we strongly believe that together we can make Cluj better. So welcome, and we can't wait to share your vision and see how we can grow Cluj together. Last but not least, we have a vision, and you are part of that vision. Okay, so even though that uh, only leaves me 10 minutes for my presentation, I think it's really important to show you a glimpse of what we are doing currently because uh, the previous one of the previous speakers mentioned Bucharest uh, in Romania. I will speak about Cluj and what we are doing in uh, Transylvania, northwestern part of Romania, and how can we work together as speaking regionally in southeastern Europe. So, uh, I'm coming from uh, one of the two of the strongest IT clusters in uh, Romania, namely ITEX Transylvania Cluster. We are the only gold label technological cluster in Eastern Europe. And uh, what we've been doing in the past five years, I hope it could inspire you in your activities and maybe we can find some common goals. Yeah, technology, always. <laughs> Okay, as a location, I put you here a map, just in order to give you the exact idea where are we located. We are uh, right in the middle of, uh, of Transylvania. And uh, I will uh, start speaking about a few facts uh, from our city. Uh, we were the capital of youth in uh, 2015, and also you saw in the video some of the namings and titles, informal titles we got as the friendly city in Europe, European city of sport in 2018, 
and of course we consider ourselves as uh, the economic capital of Transylvania. And not only that we consider ourselves, the numbers are speaking also for, for this. Uh, we have uh, the strongest cluster consortium uh, in which out of the technological cluster, we have um, also clusters from the energy sector, creative industries, agriculture, furniture, and uh, tourism. And um, also one of our main assets are the students, which are of course studying in our local universities. We have more than uh, 10 universities. And um, we also host a lot of uh, cultural events because we were speaking this morning about the knowledge city, we are speaking also of uh, smart city, innovation cities, but in the end all these names um, have the same objective, to create a better life for its citizens and to have them actively involved in the uh, strategies and activities of their city. This year, these are the four uh, key words which uh, are defining our city, talent, technology, tolerance and trust. And uh, this creating this trust environment among different actors which are working, living together in, a, in an ecosystem means a lot and it can uh, build a lot, of course. Also, um, as Alan mentioned uh, this morning in his speech, we hosted in 2017 the Open Innovation 2.0 conference in our city. And since then, we inspired the public authorities, we inspired companies, our member companies, universities, citizens, in putting them working together. And uh, one of the main assets is that uh, including the mayor, promotes these values and is speaking of, of it and more than that, we are actually implementing this uh, ecosystem type of work, not uh, the ecosystem type of work, not the ecosystem, because uh, even though I notice that, that sometimes we all speak about our organizations, our clusters, our cities, it's really, really important to have an open approach and to be open, transparent and collaborative, but in the real uh, meaning of, of these words. Uh, regarding the smart city concepts, uh, on which we, the two clusters of IT from Cluj, are working actively with the universities from our city and also with the public administration, we work on smart governance and smart education, smart healthcare services, building mobility, infrastructure, technology, smart energy, and of course aiming to have smart citizens, not in terms of having you know, paper strategies, but um, in having the citizens, regardless they are uh, old or young, in using these new facilities for, for them. And uh, in this regard, We've created uh, in our city the two IT clusters, uh, a consultative uh, council, a consultative body, which is meeting the mayor at least uh, once a month in order to discuss concrete projects and what the contribution the community can have in the development of the city. So, um, uh, in this uh, body, we also have the university responsible for a uh, smart city strategy, but we believe strongly that, uh, okay, strategies are really important to give you an objective, a mission, but living these days in which the things are changing really, really rapidly, it's more important to, to take action towards those directions. Of course, a lot of uh, things have been done, but a lot, lot more uh, are still in place and still uh, ongoing, and we still are far, far away from being the smartest city in Europe or world or wherever. Uh, but uh, when we speak about smart uh, smart cities, we are not referring only to smart to technological uh, solutions and uh, you know involving only IT companies. We are speaking also of uh, social innovation on how can we get you know the citizens to be involved in what the city hall or the university or the companies can put together. And I will give you a little bit later an example of what we are doing. Of course, uh, we are all working now uh, 
for the first public uh, electronic public servant, which we named Antonia. And uh, we have a lot of processes going on, and we are working on these in e government services together with the uh, Cluj Napoca municipality. Um, of, we, in parallel, because currently we are working in uh, releasing the smart city strategy for the next five, ten years, but in parallel we also build some apps for the city, and this is uh, due to the high involvement of the IT companies in our city. These are CSR projects, so they, they haven't been paid by the city hall, but the companies, which can have at some point some resources on bench, can work in offering and developing some solution to the community with using their own resources, without expecting anything in return, but you no know, public recognition and helping to make a citizen's life easier. And this is one alert uh, application which was made uh, by one of our companies. And one very, very important project, uh, which uh, we really love, uh, it's also made on CSR principles. We developed the first uh, online participatory budgeting in Romania, thus giving the possibility to the citizens to, one, propose the interesting, the most uh, needed project for their community. There are different phases of this project. Then they, uh, there is a voting phase in which the citizens can vote on different topics which do they think that uh, are the most important projects for, for Cluj, for the community? And in the end, there is a ranking make, made, uh, which allows the, the municipality to choose those projects coming out from the citizens, which will they support with public money for the, for the next year. And uh, currently, we are at the second edition. We have um, projects coming from the social sector, we have projects coming from the mobility, uh, from educational uh, sector, and uh, now we have the second round and some of these projects are already implemented from, from last year. Uh, this uh, helps a lot in increasing the trust of the citizens in the public administration and how they are deciding on financing the uh, projects. Of course, we have several other infrastructure uh, projects for former city, smart uh, energy, uh, light street lightning, but this, at some point, we can see it um, as being normal and a transition to a normal life uh, within uh, Europe. Uh, we have uh, some, besides this uh, hardware infrastructure which, which is helping us to be smart, we always have some incentives proposed by the municipality for those which adopt these green energy uh, buildings and um, uh, they are using it uh, for their activity. Also, uh, they, uh, the municipality put a lot of, uh, of emphasis in bringing uh, electricity, public, uh, electric public transportation in our city. They already bought 11 electric buses and now they will bought another uh, 50 and they are thinking in changing the, the whole transportation fleet and making it uh, environmentally friendly. Um, there are of course different uh, charging stations, uh, the bicycle lanes which we can see all over Europe. I don't know how is the case in Bulgaria but in Romania you can hardly see such uh, biking infrastructure and uh, we have the citizens which are requesting more and more uh, this, uh, this uh, infrastructure to be in place. Okay, uh, what we've been doing actually, on one side we have the public administration and it's really, really important for the public administration to assume its role as a leader. Because us as private uh, representatives, as cluster, we can support in different ways, but, but this initiative functional project we are proposing have to be coordinated and integrated because otherwise you cannot see the impact on a, on a larger scale and I will only briefly speak because I know my time is it, it's finished already we came uh, with a proposal to involve citizens more in this smart city action the city hall is taking and for example we had the meeting with the citizens organized by us by Active Transylvania cluster 
in a big tech hub in our city and we had their employees from the IT companies which are not at the level of the CEO or they don't have a clear role but they are simply citizens of Cluj Napoca and together with them we are starting to build also smart city strategy coming from a citizen's perspective and this one we will put and we will integrate it in the smart city strategy which is being co-created currently by the two uh, technology clusters in our city and also a private consultant which is uh, Deloitte. So the logo, for example, of Smart City was coming out from these uh, public consultations with the citizens. Of course, there are more a lot to say, but uh, the key words are openness and uh, inclusion and uh, only the willingness to leave different egos aside and uh, giving hands one with each other and working together. Thank you very much. Thank you.